been for a piss. <laughs> Your next act takes us up to another interval, friends. Uh, as soon as we start this comedy course, and the first time she stood on this stage, this way we've done all the classes, she was hilarious and has continued to be, and will be for you now. Go wild for Dawn Wilkinson! <laughs> I know what you're thinking. What's Miranda doing in the chilli pot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Miranda, I'm Dawn Wilkinson, I'm an author. And as an author, you're always thinking of your next book. And uh, I've got a few friends who had falls recently, <laughs> and I want to help these people. So my next book's going to be called How Not to Fall Downstairs. It'll be a step-by-step -step game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be at the hairdressers this morning. I said to the hairdresser, can you make us look sexy? So we started drinking. <laughs> <laughs> not that, it's not that funny, is it? Not that... <laughs> so when I'm in the hairdressers, I get a text message. I'm here for you. I thought, isn't that lovely? Four words can uplift and brighten your day. I text back, I said, you don't know how much this means, thank you so much. And it goes without saying, I'm here for you. Anyway, I've got a reply, I'm your Uber driver, I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> so I get in the taxi, oh, gorgeous looking taxi driver. He says, would you like some music on? I says, yes, please. He says, kiss. I says, well, put the music on, we'll see how things go. <laughs> I'm joking, I do like a bit of a flirt, but uh, I've been with my partner 27 years, it's a long time. I met him when I was 19, and uh, I was a lot fitter and slimmer than I am now. Uh, believe it or not, I was extremely sporty in high school. I loved running, and a uh, long jump, and uh, that thing when you... High flip, jump. Flip on your back. Sex! I was fantastic. <laughs> So I started working at the bingo when I was 19 and I, I decided I wanted an older man with a big wallet. So Gary, Gary was 26 and uh, he asked us out and I said, yeah. And you know what it's like when you first start going out with someone new, you kind of keep your hands off each other, can you? And uh, I'd say, shall we watch a film tonight? He'd say, yeah. We never see the end of a film. Five minutes in, he moves a bit closer. I'm unzipping his jeans for full exposure. <laughs> Next thing we know, we're ripping into each other's clothes and we're on the floor. Anyway, that's how we got bored from the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> so, not long after that, we moved in together and we showed proper commitment. We joined Blockbusters. <laughs> and uh, we found a bit of a hobby. We started rigging acting sex scenes out of the films. And they uh, kept me quite busy for a while, but obviously as the years go on, you put a bit of meat on, you get unfitter. Uh, by the time we've done the risk assessment now, we just agree it's not worth the bother. <laughs> <laughs> Some couples argue about money, we don't. Um, but I have to admit, the rise in utility bills have been on me mind lately. We watched a film the other night, and there was this young lass, and she's in the shower, and she starts playing with us, and she's gets proper stuck in. <laughs> <laughs> I was disgusted. I said, well, they're clearly not on a water meter, because I'm not People say, Dawn, what's the secret of a long-lasting relationship? 27 years, it's a long time. I say, well, <clears throat> never go to bed on an argument. You stay up and fight. <laughs> Me grand always told is, don't bother with men, don't. She said, when you've got a man, you've got a master. And I thought, oh, I don't want that. So when I met Gary and fell in love, I said, look, you're not being my master. I says, you can't tell me what to do, my My grand said, he says, oh, no, no, I won't, I won't. And uh, I have to admit, I've got him trained. He brings us a cup of coffee in bed every morning. He does all the cooking, the washing food shopping, everything. And, but my gran always said, have appreciation and respect for each other. And he come in the other night and I, oh God, I felt hot, sorry for him. He come in from work, he was ill. He made me tea. And, uh, <laughs> and he said, And he made me 
say and he went, oh, don't I feel ill. I kind of face those dishes. I says, don't worry. You can do them in the morning. <laughs> so one thing is, you've got to keep things fresh. And, you know, be willing to try new things. He asked us the other day, would I consider being DSM? I went, well, I won't rule it out, but I do prefer home bargains. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a conversation about jogging. I said, oh, absolutely not. There's no way I can have another dog since Bruno died. <laughs> <laughs> We've had the conversation. You know, I said, listen, if anything happens to you, I'll never have another man. I'll never have another man in our bed. He said, Ditto, I'll never have another woman in our bed. I'll go to her place. <laughs> <laughs> he said to us the other day, say something that will make us happy and sad at the same time. I said, you've got a bigger penis than your best mate, Steve. <laughs> I mean, are you not bored sleeping with the same man? Oh, I says, no, I says, he still turns us on. I says, just the other day, he had his horse in the air, stooped over the freezer. I said, I want it now and I want it hard. He said, well, okay, but I think cheesecake's better defrosted. I said, I said, no, I want you now. And I whipped his pants down right there and then. Anyway, that's how we got bored from Iceland. <laughs> with our drinking partner in train. I must, I must I just say a quick thank you to my mum. My mum actually paid for this comedy course for us for my Christmas present. And honestly, I've had the best time with Carl and Alfie and the wonderful people on my course. Um, so it's been the best Christmas present I've ever got. Um, but our partner and friends, you know, they like to drink. And uh, last Friday night they went out. Saturday morning I get a phone call. Oh, Dawn, I'm ill. Oh, yeah. I says, yeah, because you've drank too much from Margaret. <laughs> no, no, she says, it's not that. She says, we're ended up playing truth or dare. And I took the day. I says, oh, God, what have you done? She says, well, I feel sick, I'm ill. I had to swallow some scrabble pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, don't worry. Nature will take its course and it'll pass through. You'll be fine. You don't understand, do When all this comes out, it could spell disaster. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. I've been told when they said nothing like that. Well, John. Fantastic joke. Great joke. And she's written a poem for me and Carl as well. I might read out the next section. Uh, friends, it is the interval now.